artifacts of Mars. And scientists are claiming that they've created metallic hydrogen, which is solid hydrogen. They claim that they've crushed it into a metal in the uh, laboratory. But hold on, because there's a single part to this. For nearly 100 years, scientists have dreamt of turning the lightest of all the elements, hydrogen, into a metal. Now, in a stunning act of modern-day alchemy, scientists at Harvard University have finally succeeded in creating a tiny amount of the rarest, possibly most valuable material on the planet, they reported in journal Science. Physicists, there's an update to this. For metallic hydrogen could theor theoretically revolutionize technology, enabling the creation of super-fast computers, high-speed levitating trains, and ultra-efficient vehicles, and dramatically improving almost anything involving electricity. Uh, right. Now, let me explain something. You're not going to get to stay this way at room temperature, even if they did succeed. You can also allow humanity to explore outer space as never before, but as the prospect of the bright future could be at risk if the scientists next step to establish one of the metals table at normal pressures and temperatures fails to go as hoped. Professor Isaac Silver, who made the breakthrough with Dr. Ranga Diaz, said this is the holy grail of high-pressure physics. First ever sample of metallic hydrogen on Earth, so when you're looking at it, you're looking at something that's never existed before. So let's take a look at the second article. Physicists may have made a mistake in claiming to have turned hydrogen into metal, experts say. You think? Scientists who claim to have crushed hydrogen into metal may have made one important mistake, according to that's experts. Two scientists claim that they have finally succeeded in a feat that scientists have been attempting for almost 100 years, crushing hydrogen and turning it into metal through an alchemical process. Such a discovery would potentially revolutionize technology and space travel and has been hailed as one of the biggest breakthroughs in history. But experts have cast doubt on the claims of the two scientists, Ranga Diaz and Isaac Silver, both physicists at Harvard University. They may have mistaken something else for an important metal a number of other scientists have said. The Harvard researchers have first posted their work to RZEV, a website that collects scientific studies before they are published through peer-reviewed journals. In October, at that point, it attracted huge amounts of criticism from other scientists who argued it was based on a mistake. The paper was published this week in the journal Science, all same heralding a succession of headlines which claimed that humanity made a huge breakthrough that could shed light on some of the central questions of the universe. The news was covered in a range of newspapers and websites, including the Independent. The five different ex experts have told Nature's News reporters that they don't believe the claim and it could be based on an error. One scientist told the news organization that the paper isn't convincing at all. Due to the research, scientists crushed tiny bits of hydrogen beneath diamond anvils, exerting more pressure on it than is found in the center of the earth. Small steps forward have been made through the work, but no researchers yet been able to show the shiny metal that would be expected to be seen. That is what two Harvard scientists claim to have done. 
and they cannot yet show a piece of metal because it's still stuck between the jaws of the anvil. And they say removing it might cause it to disappear entirely. In other words, <laughs> now you see it, now you don't. <laughs> Actually, you don't see it at all. Researchers have believed, however, that reflective and tiny material, which they can see crushed in the anvil, is metallic hydrogen. One of the scientists, Isaac Silver, said that when I'm looking through a microscope at sample, it looked to be shiny, and you can only believe that it's a metal. While other researchers say they don't necessarily believe that as a metal, shininess might be something else, entirely like aluminum oxide, which is known to coat diamonds that sit on the anvil and may be shiny under high pressure. Well, uh, n not too much for comment here. It sounds like they just. It sounds like basically this is BS. I don't know what it's good for, to be honest with you. Do you really, do you really think we can have power lines made of metallic hydrogen? Come on. They'll revert to gas immediately. Can you show me something that doesn't revert to gas? Um, like carbon dioxide, you can turn that into solid. That reverts to a gas. It's called dry ice. And, and this is BS. This isn't going anywhere. I'm artifacts of Mars. It does make good mad science update. I'm Mars. Thanks for watching.